what should we be talking more about as big girls? That are that, that are topics that are very very important, you know. And I know there's I think there's we should so talk much about um, how to uh, eat women and talk women and journey. Yeah, <laughs> that is very very important. <laughs> Make them flattering for yes, big girls. So don't put them in granny dresses. Thank you. Give us the same you. type of clothes, but it's just a size. Yes. Yes. And it's always the same because I know even when I go into shops and I'm like. Actually, good. Oh, you know, like, okay, I'm like, yeah. Can I please have a large? I try so as I know. I'm like, this woman is literally judging me, and I'm like, fix the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was a female, and I was like, you know what? Um, females, I find, and I project more than males, definitely. Mm. Like, but I also think the conversation that big girls don't have enough mm. is a conversation about um, health, mm. your body, your body size, mm. your body type. Very important. But health. Yeah. <laughs> never. I never. I was just trying to tell you what to wear. And how this is very controversial because a lot of people have, have spoken about how we've allowed ourselves to even get to a point where we're wearing things that are not very flattering but then but then you can't be saying that because it means you're contradicting yourself in allowing people to be and wear whatever that they want what message are you really pushing sometimes when Undu tells you you know you also need to not like okay you can take it personally but sometimes it's not personal. Mm-hmm. Don't be on the defensive. Yeah, about don't it. be defensive. And sometimes if you know Tanda, you know, but like they're not saying this to her. And yeah. so we need to move past not wanting to be told this is no because it's gonna fail you because I'm a big girl. Exactly. Mm-hmm. In fact, yeah. if a girl got shot today, I'm not gonna be so miserable that oh I died a big girl. All right? <laughs> I lived a happy <laughs> life and he people. No, because he's been with you as big as you were initially anyway mm-hmm. so the reason for him to maybe take note of a babes so I mean in fact yes. let's go do something together it'll be coming from a place of love and we shouldn't be so offended about it but you see with what you're saying it's mm-hmm. also it's also very important to be with someone who this isn't a fetish for them yes. because if it's a fetish for someone then he's going to want you to <laughs> keep on doing it away I said we have Hey Yamis, welcome back to our channel. If you need, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Returning Sabis, welcome back, my Yamis. I appreciate and love you all. Today I'm with Ama Gimbas. Right here. <laughs> oh! should only have it with girls this, this conversation about uh being a big girl and being fetishized or having a preference should only be with girls and not with guys yes. like girls have no um say in such a topic so let's first start there what, what are your thoughts on that okay you go first because <laughs> <laughs> she was like this the whole time okay so 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 
No, yeah. I think girls and guys can have the conversation mm-hmm. and because we also want to get the male perspective, mm. we would also want to have uh, exactly. the conversation with guys. Mm. But uh, my take on it is uh, guys do like big girls. Mm-hmm. They love them, in fact. Mm-hmm. I think they love our big thighs. They love our big bums. Mm-hmm. They love how cute we look. I'm not saying other sizes aren't cute, but I'm just because we are on this topic. Mm-hmm. But uh, society standards of beauty mm-hmm. always clash with what they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. So because who are they slay queens or try trophy? Yeah, is, is someone who's usually petite. Yeah. Um, who can wear short dresses mm. like short short dresses and look cute mm. and whatever and then the big girls the men sort of feel uncomfortable when we are in certain outfits or we wear certain things mm. or we sit a certain way because we have a pooch mm. because around his friends they always talk about a certain type of a woman, of a woman. And, and what mm. and what makes them if we're oh, intrigued yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know um, with what you're saying there I always feel like um, it's not really a fetish but society has made Beagle so unlovable that uh, mm. the only reason a man we can want, want you is because, because he wants, wants to satisfy this weird um, thing that, you know, I'm with this fat girl, I'm with this big girl because mm. uh, they can do this or this is what I've heard of big girls mm. or what not. Kanti, sometimes it's just, it's that um, not all big girls are unattractive. Um, there are a lot of attractive big girls. Mm-hmm. Oh, here are the boobs, mm-hmm. here's the ass, the shape, the silhouette. Mm-hmm. Everything is just nice. Because, I mean, when you're in a relationship with someone, say this is your girlfriend, and uh, she's dressed, when your person is dressed nice, mm-hmm. and this dress looks hella fine on your person mm. whether she's big whether she's small she looks good in that dress mm. and uh, you love your person mm. and uh, you you know when you're when you're seeing it a feel it you're not seeing a big girl you're seeing a beautiful mm. girl but you i know? think you know what happens with with, with with having a big body is that you come into the space already your being says like look at me right already you demand attention and you get into the space right but i mean that can be seen in so many different arrays of, of ways. I remember somebody making a comment, um, which I definitely agree with, that we are often very much sexualized. Like, mm-hmm. people see us, they see sexiness. Like, you don't even need to try to be sexy. Like, the fact that you have things makes you sexy. Which then obviously goes back to your comment about how uh, when we looked at then Mutu, you only for pleasure. Mm-hmm. Which goes back to the fact that some women feel like they're being fetishized and not being a preference because of the fact that men will only want to be with the trophy being the preference. And then for mm-hmm. us, then it's like, oh, okay, it's me and you. Later on, it's me and you. So it's that and just how we, especially because you two are in loving relationships, like how you, have you navigated that in your relationships and how do you know that that person is there for the loving um, aspect of things and not for the ex? You see, um, and now I also have, I have this annoying, it got, I, I just get so annoyed mm-hmm. when uh, someone sees a big girl and they're like, oh, stock of winter, couple of my size, couple type, yeah, 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 yeah. things like that. Um, yeah. Like, I'm in a relationship and uh, I think I've gained weight in the relationship mm-hmm. and uh, I would like to think that my boyfriend didn't see this person, I mean, like, mm. oh, my size, oh, yes. oh, my stock, or what yes. not. Uh, they saw and they feel with a person mm. and they fell in love with me. Mm. Yeah, where when I walk into a room, uh, people look at me, mm. or oh, I have an aura, or I have mm. a pre- mm. presence. Mm. Because sometimes, and uh, I always feel like uh, it's women who project these um, emotions. Like uh, a skinny girl might look at me and be like, oh, no, she's not pretty, or oh, no, she's attractive. Mm. I I'm beautiful. I am attractive. I may not be your size, but I'm my size and I'm comfortable yeah. in my... And it's like a, when you go to the gym and you're a big girl, mm. Egati, 
all that thing oh, where you want to lose weight mm. what if i want to be healthy mm. what if i want to tone my body mm. or what if i'm doing it so that you know i keep active yeah. the go like people are so uncomfortable with themselves that they want to they make project. you feel uncomfortable yeah. but they would um project their own insecurities about being with a big girl or mm. oh, no we're like uh, Oh, you, did you really? Are you really are you attracted okay? to her? Are you, um, I am about to pop, pop, Is the is dancing that good with your partner? Because they always say that big girls um in the bedroom, one or and you think to yourself, who's saying these things? Also, there's so much more than that. Mm. So us, you know. No, I think uh, being in a relationship, my man fell in love with my confidence, mm. and they, they love it. They he love. fell in love with this girl, mm. maybe crop top, yes. the tight skirt, mm -hmm. but whatever. But I was comfortable in my yeah. own body, and that's what he fell in love with. Mm. But like similar, similarly to you, I've gained a lot of weight in my relationship, mm. but he's never made me feel big. Yes, he's never made me feel. But okay, go oh, baby, you too big. Yeah, so do, do something, something about it. Yeah. But I think he always goes out of his way to make me comfortable. Mm. So we all get those waves of, oh my gosh, I'm so big, this yeah. doesn't fit, or whatever, mm. whatever. But I think he goes out of his way to make sure that I'm comfortable mm. and I know that he is happy with yeah. what he sees and with me and that also makes me comfortable mm. but there are days where he will say to me sis yeah hard truth uh -uh. and I was, I was about to get there I was uh -uh. Like, we also need to be in relationships with people who can be honest with us yes and we shouldn't as big girls take it so personal that oh he's saying this because oh my gosh he, no because he's been with you as big as you were initially, anyway. Mm -hmm. So the reason for him to maybe take note of a babe's camera woko, masamba. So I mean, in fact, yes. let's go do something together. It be coming from a place of love, and we shouldn't be so offended about it. But you see, with what you're saying, it's mm -hmm. also it's also very important to be with someone who this isn't a fetish for them. Yes. Because if it's a fetish for someone, mm -hmm. then he's going to want you to so keep on doing it away. I sign up. You have kulupal away now. everything that you come with yeah. and they're not here because you're a big girl sure. but they love you so when you say babe yes i don't feel sexy in this yeah. dress when you keep on dropping hints to your person yeah. then we are going to oh, okay yeah. yes enjoy, babe why don't you start walking or yeah, yeah, um i've been on a healthy weight loss journey for two years yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i fall off the wagon i get back on, on. <laughs> and when i'm serious i'm like babe are you seeing in yeah. and then he's gonna be like Almost there, but yeah. uh, he, 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 he'll encourage me yeah. because he knows it's something I want. Exactly. And he won't encourage me because it's something that he wants. Exactly. Um, like, it, 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 people should be with people that they are comfortable mm -hmm. around. You know, if someone isn't making you feel uncomfortable, then you want to do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not doing it for yes. someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. if it can go shut today, I'm not going to be so miserable that, oh, I died a big girl. All right? <laughs> Side of this topic mm. then why do people like when when you're a big girl man mm. why do people uh mistake um you wanting to okay when you when you decide i want to go on a diet mm. and i want to go to the gym uh, right mm. why do people mistake that uh for you having a problem with your size or having mm. a problem with the fact that you're a big girl and young woku, they sort of sometimes use it as a thing you're no banana then you need to I'll go ahead uh, and go with the size mm -hmm. and you know, look eventually even though you're all about body positivity uh, well, and loving your body but side note we are born please, you, yeah, she, me, uh, you, you, guys, no, we, I think we need to move past that like we can we can all go to gym and 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 have, be on the same diet plan, but we never look the same. Must pile it up. Mm -hmm. So I think people should literally get over that because 
um there's different reasons why we even go to gym there's mm -hmm. health reasons there's mental health reasons one that are beyond the weight loss situation so for me if you want to be so pathetic and you care about it doesn't i'm just like we're on two different levels babes i can't i can't be entertaining doesn't matter like at least look look into what, what why do people go to gym Come on. and i'm not gonna let you project your feelings on why i'm going to gym just because i'll go right when so I'm, mm -hmm. i need to get into your level so no definitely not but what what has been interesting to me that you said because you said earlier on is that um how like your, your man like is completely fell in love with your confidence etc and how sometimes men like that contrast with uh, with how men will be like hi ah, baby um when, when the change comes in when they're like no you can't wear that crop top anymore but who forget dinner you only crop top like mm. that whole campaign like, who, the door? i went through that yeah i think my my the way that i dress has changed yeah drastically mm. because i used to be very comfortable in i wear active wear a lot yeah ne? but i used to be super comfortable mm. in not wearing clothes mm. like a dress or whatever mm. right mm. and then the, the the other thing is omium do you don't necessarily see yourself mm. especially if you don't have a mirror mm. ne? but omium do on the other end is able to see you and what makes you yeah. look comfortable so and what makes you feel comfortable yeah but because sometimes we're so hell-bent on wearing i don't wear what i have right. because right. Get, are you not gonna tell me, me what, what to wear, wear. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. we end up wearing things that don't make us mm. comfortable and that's when your mm. man is going to say to you because uh -huh. the fact that talking about crop top is a man uh, mm. then, so your man can see but no you're not comfortable mm. in what you're wearing but I'm going to wear what I want to wear, when I want to wear it, whatever the case might be. So for me, my man was like, is able to say, babe, sweetie. And when I feel like he's talking shit, I'm going to tell him you're talking shit and I'm going to wear it. But sometimes I sit and I sh I shout at him, like, hey, Suga, you're not going to tell me what to wear. But low key, I'll go sit and actually think, okay, maybe maybe he's being honest mm. maybe i should think about it and yani i found that i was not wearing things that flattered my body mm. and that's the truth different body sizes are are flattered by different things mm. and you need to understand what flatters mm. your body size and your body shape mm. and through that i was like oh okay this is what I look flattering in, and mm. this makes me comfortable. Mm. Okay, so I'll gravitate more towards mm. Ezindo because mm. they make me feel comfortable and they flatter my body. And ultimately, that's what we all want. Mm. So we look cute, right? Yeah. And then now we're gonna, in fact, it's today, I'm I doing the thing. I look cute. So mm. sometimes when Umdu tells you, Indo, you also need to not like, okay, you can take it personally. But sometimes it's not personal. Mm. Don't be on the defensive. Yeah, about don't it. be defensive. And sometimes if we don't tanda, you know, but like, they're not saying this to you. Yeah. And so we need to move past not wanting to be told easy, you know, because it's gonna fail you because I'm a big girl. Mm. Exactly. Mm. It's, in that, it's what I always say, Hori. Um, like I go to the gym and mm. I try poorly to work out at home. Mm. Mara, I'm not doing it to be skinny. Yeah. So when someone else is looking at me, I tell Mara, if you're so happy, if you're so pushing that to all bodies are beautiful mm. or you're body positive mm. activist, why are you still gymming? Mm. I'm gymming because I want to look good in mm. my clothes. I'm gymming because I want to be healthy. Mm. I'm gymming for Once you know my strong. mental health mm. and those things because you need to be active. Yeah. Mara, I'm not trying and if I so happen to work out and I'm healthy and I wear a crop top kisha pick up I'm short and I look good in it. Why not? Exactly. I might not look good as she does or yeah. you do. My, our bodies are not the same. Anyway. And uh, uh, clothes are made to flatter a body. So with yeah. what you're saying, yeah. wear clothes that flatter your body yeah. and that you're comfortable in. Uh, you know what you said now about how we got to to a point where we tell ourselves, in fact, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let society Tell yeah, you what to wear. <laughs> <laughs> My baby. I never. I never. I lost the sight of 
have you what to wear and how this is very controversial because a lot of people have, have spoken about how we've allowed ourselves to even get to a point where we're wearing things that are not very flattering but then but then you can't be saying that because it means you're contradicting yourself in allowing people to be and wear whatever that they want what message are you really pushing and i think for me it's always been important that one because i i love fashion i love being very specific about what really looks good on my body type so i'm always going to be for the advocate of mana not for me you know and you know i do that and like fuck i always felt it accentuate the thing a type of type of situation still the same dress i'm allowed to still wear the same dress but i think we've really got into a point where it's really now but i don't tell you what to wear i would let society tell me what to wear and how it's it's getting to us and in a negative way because mogu also know this this funny lie yes we are born not because you hell bent on wearing what you want to wear when you want to wear it. exactly but i also think the conversation that big girls don't have enough mm. is a conversation about um health mm. your body your body size mm. your body type very important health yeah right yeah and Yes guys sometimes you might like for example like recently right mm. i gained a lot of weight yeah don't call it okay what is it more but i'm not sell wow so i gained a lot of weight right mm. and i now was serious but hey mm. hey it's relationship weight uh, and like what up well, mm. you know mm. and all of that stuff and then like i went to see my gp and and all of, not my gp man my gynae mm. and my gynae was like uh babe um you, you, your size yeah sweetie. yeah your size sweetie <laughs> your size, <laughs> uh, there's something else <laughs> yeah and i was like ah dark in 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 yeah. in uh, and he's like you look beautiful mm. and you can today but uh, mm. uh, your mm. size right mm -hmm. and then low key okay then after that we did tests and stuff like that and then he said to me do you know that you've had like PCOS forever mm. but you didn't know Ta -da. Ta -da. and he says where well, now you busy chilling thinking that you're gaining weight because right. you're happy can't you you're mm. not so more often than not because we're big girls and we advocate for you know a loving your body yes. and loving your body yes. type sometimes you don't understand the the health risks that are attached to to that message mm -hmm. and then the response there is the one thing we don't take responsibility for is to educate people about be big love your body and whatever yeah. but be healthy 100 and know the reality of the situation is i'm a big girl now mm -hmm. but you'd find that in order for me to get to a healthy place mm -hmm. i probably need to lose like 50 kgs but it doesn't mean that you but it doesn't mean you're a big girl because oh, how mm. it really looks different than everybody. Exactly. But you see, with what you're mentioning with the doctor, there, um, I I feel like sometimes uh, it's a two-way thing. I feel mm. like certain doctors don't see past your weight, yeah. and and mm. some doctors mm. make you feel some type of mm. way. And sometimes you take too much offense mm. because mm. I'll make an example. I remember this one time I went to the dentist. Mm. So I'm busy. I'm chilling there and um. I have a sweet tooth. Mm. I love sweet things and uh, all things sugar. I love. So I'm sitting there, and uh, then the doctor is the dentist. Like to me, um, you know, sweet things are really not good for you. Yeah, I know cavities, mm. which is why I constantly keep up with my dentist visits. Yeah. Okay. Ah, and I know I'm not talking about your teeth. I'm Who's talking about your weight. I'm talking about your weight. Gym. No. Hey guys, females, it's all going. So I was at the gym and 
And then um, this lady who is much, much bigger than I was uh -huh. um, is busy talking to me about my um, sweat belt thing in my mm. So again, and I all know I got this from this brand. Mm. It's amazing. It's good. Mm. In. And then she asked me, what size is it? Mm. So I tell her the size. I'm like, oh no, I got it in a medium. And then she looks at me and she's like, oh, okay, we're the same weight. Yeah, well, um, I should probably get it myself in a medium. This lady was two times bigger than I was. Yeah. And then I remember I was so offended oh. that she said that she's my size. And I'm like, feel it, whether she's my size or not my size, why am I so offended yeah. that it's a bigger production. female? Yeah. So, and I was like, it doesn't matter if yeah, now we born an my size. That's her yeah. business. And then, if she sees no. this, I'm like, if, if I see you and you're beautiful and you're sexy, mm. why does it bother yeah. you that uh, you're, you're so comfortable mm. in your skin? Like, uh, we're yeah. always like, oh my gosh, so is there. We are possessed. Mm. Uncomfortable. Right. And it's, it's always that. In fact, and it's always the thing because I know even when I go into shops and I'm like, Actually, oh, you know, like, okay, help him, like, yeah. can I please have a large? I tell so as I know. I know. I know. Charlie, Charlie, do you know? Do you know my size? Do you know the amount of times the way I've gone into shops and I know the type of material? I can even say medium because the money has stretch or I want a certain fit. No, this woman is like, no, I can look at stores away now. And it's actually very offending in that. So you think I'm bigger? But then coming back to what you're saying, Bana, even if that they thought they thought that, Bana, that's on them. Let me go grab that and go. Now guys, I've got a phobia of, of buying jeans. You've never seen me in jeans, right? Mm -hmm. I don't own a <laughs> pair of jeans. Actually. I have a phobia of jeans. Like I'm sorry guys, like I love my body. Mm -hmm. I don't even wanna lie. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I look cute. Mm -hmm. But Sana it jeans. Mm. I, have a, I have a phobia because I've always gone into a store and thought, I know the size. Didn't get any. Did I see size? Yeah. Did. Fuck it. I'm like, okay, no. Fine. <laughs> Sissy, please bring me another size. Depend it. The news. And then when you've got big thighs, it will go up and then it's like, yeah, I'm I'm it. It. And then I'm and like, like and change. Exactly. Trust. And then yeah. I stopped. I was like, you know what? What I'm not going to do is go through all to of go this. through all of this and then have no this on the desire. I said, Hi. in that um i find I, i'm also i also have a bad habit of um buying stuff online i'll get my size mm -hmm. i'll get a smaller yeah, size I, and i'll get a bigger one. size so when i when i start fitting things on i'll fit my size and then i'm secretly hoping that i've lost weight that i'm going to fit into the and smaller one time. and then in some cases i end up taking the bigger one i'm like oh mm -hmm. damn it Mara, you're just so comfortable when you're in your own space mm -hmm. why can't we be as because i remember um this other influencer i don't know Bisa, mm -hmm. um she bought clothes from mm -hmm. this other store yeah well, mm -hmm. and she was like they do have clothes for big girls and whatnot, mm -hmm. whatnot. i went Good into the thing. store i went into the store when i got to the store the curve range yamona was in a dark corner but in a like in a very shameful thing well, how dare you be this big go be to there, your corner go, go there to your corner <laughs> with your stage. and then when i got to that <laughs> corner they, they had these ridiculous <laughs> but they just they didn't have my size mm. and I'm, I'm like if you're going to make clothes for big girls mm. make them flattering for yes. big girls so don't Very put them important. in granny dresses and <laughs> give us the same you. type of clothes but it's just size size. Yeah. and put, put them because i remember this other one store said that um we carry our uh plus range online mm. we don't have to in the store so i'm like number one you're benefiting from the bigger girls yeah. because you're selling to them yeah. but uh, you don't want to take their money inside the store in fact what we in Gago bed don't yeah, you and now we wait, wait four to five working days one day for but the outfit for tonight you can't even go you in know, and just pick up something also i think what we're discussing something so 
important and something some people may see as offensive because we are going to the topic of if something is bigger we get offended by it mm -hmm. right and i think it comes from a lot of um the whole realm of not not wanting to be bigger than what you are not that yeah. it's wrong ne? whether you're smaller or you're the biggest that you they are top yeah, the, the biggest of the biggest size like you wouldn't want to be bigger than that because you're thinking yes. of factors that like for, 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 in Baza, for example like how difficult it's going to be not because you're seeing being that size or a bigger size in the negative light i think we need to highlight that because <laughs> wrong but it's knowing that you're going to struggle exactly and it's not as easy to, exactly. to find clothes i don't think i articulated myself here perfectly in the video so i'm going to put on this uh voice insert to say that we've got so, gotten so fixated on sizing whether you're small you're medium or you're big to a point where when you've been a size 32 your whole life the moment that um you have to pick out a size 34 even if you haven't gained weight you get so pedantic about fearing the bigger size you know and this happens across all body types all body sizes and it's so important to just come back to the fact that i always make reference to that um the mass production of most retail stores don't cater for a person they cater for a mass amount of people so buying something that's a size bigger should not affect you in the way that um as long as it fits what's written on that size tag should not affect you in any way because at um x store you'd be a size 34 but at x um at store Y, you'd be a size 36 because they don't make clothes for individuals, but for the masses. So really, um, we all have this um, scare, fear of wanting to be the, the specific size and not wanting to gain weight. And the many reasons can be that, one, you know that there's a fear because finding bigger clothes will always be a struggle because... It's a struggle that everyone knows as a big person that finding flattering clothes has always been the biggest issue. But also there could be issues like um, rooted in fat phobia where you're scared of just fat, fatness and um, you need to just acknowledge that at times and just find out where the root of that issue is coming from, you know. So... Yeah, I just needed to ensure that I put this out there and that as a person, you as a big person, you can also be very much fat for big, period. No, I but but Wayama said something to me this one time. I think I was complaining about jeans. Mm -hmm. And then she said, um, you said, oh, um, ultimately clothes are supposed to fit you. Mm. You are not supposed to You're not the size. You are not the one yeah. that's supposed to be fitting into clothes. Yeah, clothes are supposed to fit you. Mm. So mm. if you sort of change your mindset yeah. when it comes to those not things, the size, the size situation is not going to affect you mm. or whatever. I think it's the availability. That is that very important. Mm. Accessibility. Yeah. And it goes back to our point of not wanting a bigger size. Mm. And being so scared of I or large and then you're like I I think we're large with medium, I'm sure. It goes back to that. Mm. Like if that large fits, okay. What if you thought you're medium but the large fits and that's it is what it is. You know what my mom always says, I mm. guess to make me feel better, she always says Small making one. Kiss small making one. Kiss small making. Kiss small making. Kiss small making. Kiss small making. So you take that piece. Exactly. Wait, not Ungumi. Just take that piece. Kiss small making. 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 And it speaks to how then we limit ourselves in terms of living our best lives because we're waiting to fit into this medium. Can't you go just get the large and wear the same thing and go live your best life? Now you're thinking, no, I first need to fit into this medium before I go out into the world and not go live my best life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I think that that one is the very like, most important because even us, like the most confident people, we can 
like go back into that thinking so easily so easily mm -hmm. i know the kind of when since when <laughs> <laughs> i know since when what else and guys i think now shopping mm -hmm. online i've sort of has helped ah uh, got it over the size situation yeah. because i don't want to take these things back exactly. so i'm going to buy Don't a bigger size uh -huh. and if it does if it's too big yeah, i'm gonna yeah, go yeah. to a tailor my tailor fixes it mm -hmm. and it's fine but I'm not going to stress about the size exactly. and, and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know what's helped me now this year? Because um, I used to do a lot of my shopping online and he unashamedly pick the bigger size yeah. that I am or whatever. But um, I started going shopping with my friend this year, mm -hmm. and then it just it made it so fun oh, and yeah. uh, yes, I wasn't so. We'd laugh about the fact that I have to take a bigger size, mm -hmm. and uh, she'd be in the fitting room like, "Girl, that food pie, you better yeah. tuck it in." Mm -hmm. and, uh, and now, because uh, I don't know, go with the buddy when you go yeah. shopping sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love men. Yeah. Oh no, 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 <laughs> not men. Because I'm so impatient as well. <laughs> but I, I go poop in my like, <laughs> yeah. like, depends on not with men. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy that. Please comment down below what more can we talk about what should we talk what should we be talking more about as big girls that are that, that are topics that are very very important you know and i know there's i think there's we should so talk about more. um how to uh e women and top women and yeah <laughs> that's what it's very very important that one is very very important so, wow wow